Hello and welcome to this video from Coupon District Model Railway Club. Today we're going to have a quick look at the LCUT Modelling Systems LNER Signal Box. Signal boxes have been an integral part of our railway network since the beginning, um, controlling flow of trains on different various sections of track. Um, a lot of them now, as you'll probably know yourselves, have been demolished or replaced with centralised signalling centres in major cities and junctions but some still remain and it's something that you know looks good on a layout um, and it's quite nice so let's go on have a look at this now it's as it says in the bottom here it's wood glue for the main fiber board parts it's all laser cut and we'll have a look and see what is in the packet First off, instructions, contents list of everything that's in there, and quite a nice diagram drawings of how it all fits together. So quite easy to follow. And the parts on this, I've already had a look through it to the, today, and also started a few parts. Of it. It's cut absolutely beautifully. You know, lines in it, the detail. It's an ideal box to start with, to build up, and then eventually fine detail, drain pipes, interior detail, as I'll show you later on in this video, if you want. The good thing about this kit, as it has got the option to build it with either a left hand or right hand side stairs. And there's two end pieces there, with different windows. I mean, the laser cutting on this is absolutely brilliant. You can see how fine it is just down this piece here, and it's going to join onto the front. So that's your two end, oh, that's your end pieces. Again, the stairs, all the cuts that cut out, absolutely beautiful. It is it's good, good strong material as well. Obviously, it's going to bend in the small places where it's been cut. But, a good bit of pressure on it, it's not going to bend and once it's built it will form quite a nice rigid building okay, that's the roof trusses there so again giving, giving the option for a nice good good building and something I like about this and what made me go for it over just a normal run of the mill one is the size of the windows in the front I quite like to do the details on the inside of mine and this is going to give a nice good view for when looking at the layout from the front of actually the amount of detail that's gone into it and helped. Um, again, roof panels here. I've not decided yet whether I'm going to use this or I'm going to use actual slate and um, plastic card roof on it and leave the roof detachable so you can see in it. Um, it is a nice roof, it's nice, nicely cut. Um, to me it just looks a bit too clean for a turn of the century slate roof. Um, and then again, all the little bits. It's a stripping for the roof. Strips for again for the roof on there. And these windows, once you've got a bit of clear plastic on the back of them, it's going to give you a really, really good look. Being able to see through the windows on that. So yeah, overall first impressions, very impressed, very nice kit. As I said, I have actually started this kit already. And using an interior detailing kit, and also coffee service. These you can get from any good high street coffee shop. And they are absolutely brilliant for scratch building, uh, strengthening work, whatever you need to do. And what I've used them for is this floorboards within the signal box and the shelf supported there on two bits of brass, either end, keeping the shelf nice and sturdy for when I put the signaling equipment on top. Again, this is a kit that I got off a uh, well known popular auction site online. And it just adds that extra level of detail to your model or your railway that 
quite often, you know, people miss out. Um, I understand not everyone's got the same standards and everything like that. Um, or, as Louis Fraser, hasn't got the same skill level. Um, but these sort of kits are ideal. It doesn't take much to put together. It's quite easy. A little bit of glue, sharp knife, and a couple of pots of humble paints. Um, other paints are available. <laughs> Yeah, overall, we're getting there. Um, I'm to do some more updates on how the build's going. Uh, so if you keep on the Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, even our website, you should see the progress of this kit, how we're getting on. And if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Everything helps, especially at this time of year. This time of the year. People haven't been in work, etc. It's just nice to share out what we're doing and show that we are still here as a club and we are still doing things. Take care and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.